Hey everyone, how's it doing? Welcome to my channel. Today, before we start the video, I'm going to tell you some things you should do before. First of all, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click on the bell, like the video, and you should share it. It's very important. So then people will come to my channel and watch more videos, or more, like, more subscribers and more views. Okay, cool. And by the way, you should very, you should all subscribe to my channel i'm having a contest with my sister and by the end of the month if i have a thousand um a thousand subscribers she'll say i'm the best youtuber so please 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 do this for me i know i'm not a great youtuber but please just do it okay okay and we're back now i'm going to tell you this story so it was during pesach a man who was called shmuel used to uh, sell some alcohol but all of his alcohol was all made was all made of chomets and Pesach was coming and so every year he'd usually send easily all his alcohol before before Pesach to Goya since everyone liked alcohol in his town but one year he had a big problem it was one week before Pesach. He asked people, "Come on, you can all uh, come and buy my uh, my alcohol, my whiskey, and everything." But nobody came. So he called his friend and told him, "Hey, can you do you want do you want some alcohol? And if you want it, I can I can actually give you some free." And he said, "No, no, thank you. I'm fine this year." So he was so sad. Nobody wanted to buy his his alcohol, which was chametz. So he pleaded to Hashem, 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 please make, listen to my prayer, make, make my alcohol scent sold by, by, uh, by tomorrow. Nothing, nothing happened. So he went to his wife and he told him, Rivka, Rivka, nobody wants to buy my alcohol in and we're, and, and it's almost Pesach. What am I going to do? And if I don't send my, my chonets, I'll be high of karet. What am I going to do? Please help me. And Rivka told him, don't worry, Hashem will help you, just as he always does. So, okay, he waits. He he tries to sell his alcohol, but doesn't work during a week like this. So, it, it's a Rev Pesach. He hasn't sold a milligram of alcohol, which was Hametz. And he was so sad. He went to Rivka, Rivka, I'm doomed. I'm not going, I'm going to be a Chai of Karet. And... I'll be hated by everyone and no, and no one will come back to buy some of my whiskey and all my alcohol. Rivka told him, don't worry, Hashem will help you. So comes the night of Pesach, they all have a beautiful Seder and everything. And the next morning, before he goes to the, to the tefillah, well, Shmuel goes to his, um, to his um, merchandise and he sees that it was all burnt nothing it was all burnt so he went his friend was there so he goes to him and tells him what happened what happened to my merchandise he and he and his friend told him some crazy people came to burn it i don't know why there's what and and shmuel was so happy all of his um all of his chomets was burnt which means he wasn't going to be a high of color, which was perfect for him. So, well, he had a beautiful pace of thanks, thanks to Hashem. And we see that when you give, when, when you give everything to Hashem, Hashem will, will help you accomplish, uh, accomplish whatever you want. So, I hope that you like this video. Don't forget to like it, to subscribe to my channel, and to share this video. Ciao!